There are a lot of ways that you can auto start scripts uh, when your computer starts, but one of the ways that I like to use uh, is using a file called rc.local, RC .local, which will allow you to run scripts as root at startup. Uh, it is in a file, it's in a folder called uh, forward slash etc forward slash init.d and we'll vim into the file called rc.local and you can see here this is uh, the default for Linux Mint 8 uh, it may look different you may have more or less or nothing in there depending on your setup and what packages you have installed um, but anything in here will run as root at startup um, obviously you need root privileges to edit this file otherwise that would be a huge security risk so let's uh, quit out of that and I'll sudo back into it and um, basically, if you wanted to add your own script, you can add it at the end of this file would be the best place to put it. And let's say I want to list. Obviously, that's not very useful um, because um, I'm not going to see it because this will be running in the background, basically. Uh, but it would run that as root. And um, But let's say we created a script and we put it in our user bin folder so that we can run it from anywhere and we've given it permission to run, made it executable, uh, and we called it my start for you know my startup so we can do my start like so and it would run that command as root but now one of the things you do want to take in consideration is that if that file that script is going to take a while to run uh, you may want to put the end symbol at the end like that and that will throw it in the background so this script can continue and complete uh, so let's say you had another script you wanted to run at startup called my start 2 you can do that and now uh, it won't wait for my start to end before running my start too. We'll start them both and throw them both in the background and then complete this script. Now, on the other hand, if you did need it to wait for start the first start to finish uh, before running start two, you can just take that away. But uh, usually, it's a good uh, practice to add that end symbol so this script will continue going. So that is uh, just one of many ways to start up scripts when your computer starts up, but this is the way I like doing it, uh, and it does stuff as root, which can come in handy sometimes. Um, now, uh, if you do edit this file, I do recommend making a backup of the original. Just copy it to rc.local.old, uh, uh, so in case you screw it up, you can always put it back. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this. And I hope that you uh, learned something new and you now know how to start up stuff when your computer starts up uh, as root. Now, uh, do take in consideration that some distros may be a little bit different. The rc.local file may be in a different spot, so if it's not in that folder, uh, do a search for it. It'll probably be under the etc folder somewhere. Um, but it's rc.local for most distributions that I've seen. So go ahead, give that a try, play with that, and have a great day.